this video tutorial I will explain how to call the stored function using a simple JDBC call. Here you can see employee table, it has two records. Here you can see the stored function. The stored function name is read underscore employee underscore name. What this stored function will do is based on the input parameter employee ID, it will get first name and last name from employee table and it will concatenate first name and last name and assign the full name to out underscore name parameter and return the out underscore name parameter value which is the full name. Now I am going to create the stored function. And here you can see read underscore employee underscore name function is created. We will see using a simple JDBC call how to call this stored function. Here you can see set data source method. Spring container creates a data source object and pass it to this method. And that data source object is set to simple JDBC call object. And simple JDBC call object is going to use the function read underscore employee underscore name, which we have already created. Here you can see get employee method, which accept employee ID. That employee ID value I am setting to the input parameter of uh, this function. Then using uh, execute function method of uh, simple JDBC call object, I am executing the function. And uh, this function returns full name that I am returning. Here I have defined the interface uh, employee DAO. It has uh, one abstract method. Method is get employee, which accept uh, employee ID. Here I have defined the class uh, employee DAO impl, which implements uh, employee DAO interface and provide implementation of uh, get employee method. This is a Spring configuration file. Spring container read this Spring configuration file and it creates a data source object. To create a data source object, Spring container needs to know driver class name, URL of the database, username and password of the database. And once a data source object is created, it will be injected to employee DAO impl. Here I have defined the class app. Here I have created application context object by reading a spring configuration file using getbean method of application context object getting employee DAO object from spring container. Then I am calling get employee method of employee DAO object and passing employee ID as 1. This method returns full name that I am displaying here. The input parameter I have passed is 1. So first name is Peter, last name is John and concatenated full name is Peter John. That is what I got here. You can get uh, Java source code link from the description of the video. In mobile, to see the description, click on uh, this icon.
it will expand like this and here you can see the description it contains uh, java source code links click on these links to get the java source code 